if you look how banks uh, are required to store the data for so many years because of audit purposes, uh, they have all the knowledge, all the experience in their data. And so it's, it's pretty straightforward to think about how to use that data and, and, and use that data to uh, create experience from that data. And machine learning is the, is the right thing to do. Bank of America, we do. We have lots of data, trying to turn it into meaningful information. But what we can get from the data that we have, and that, that's why machine learning is so critical from a financial institution's perspective, we have a lot of payment information. We understand what our client behavior is based on that, right? Their payments or their receivables coming in. And we also have information around our clients, customers, and their payment behavior and everything. So all of that data has to be taken in so that we can get to the point uh, where we can do that predictive analytics or we can give actionable things out of that. And that, that's one of the huge things with machine learning is to get the algorithms and so forth right. The more data you feed in, the better off you're going to be and the more accurate that is. When you apply machine learning, you can train the algorithm on many levels. You can run it on your bank's balance, you can break it down on a department level, you can break it down per currency, per country. And it's easy to train a machine on all those levels, on thousands of levels, and it will monitor and predict on those thousands of detailed levels, where as a human it's impossible. You would need massive amount of people working on that. So um, you cannot only then predict on all those levels, but also monitor all those levels. And when there is an exception on on any of those uh, levels, you can specifically point at that. You can say, there was a problem in the Asian market with the US currency on that account. So it's very, very specific that you can raise an exception. We've spent tens of millions of pounds and three years completely replatforming our capability and all of the new things coming down the line will be easier to do. We're looking at machine learning as an example. So it means that we can get more accurate decisions more quickly across a whole range of processes. So for example, in the claims world, we are able to use machine learning and data to see who's liable. And that means that we can talk to the customer about that liability much more quickly than we used to be able to do. Um, in terms of fraud, it's far more predictive about with data available, what is a fraud, what isn't. That helps to, to keep the prices appropriate. Um, in terms of rating, more data, again, more process, very, very quickly assessed, more data enrichments. Our rating has uh, capability, is now far more precise, and also we can do validation of that price ahead of the sale. What we want to do, especially across our receivable solutions, is be able to apply machine learning to get ourselves to predictive analytics that's where it really starts to make sense for our clients because that, that's where we can give them actionable information. Um, data is relevant all over the place, right? The bank has a lot of data, our clients have a lot of data, but we've got to turn it into meaningful information and that's where machine learning can help to understand what's coming in and then be able to get that into some predictive analytics. We use um, machine learning technologies which basically look at data, learn from that data, and then they can predict uh, data or they can uh, understand that data. Um, artificial intelligence is, is the next evolution, really, because artificial intelligence means that technology will be self-aware, so it's more a technology that, that, that uh, it's, it's more a philosophical term than a technical term because then technology will understand why it is doing something. So maybe we will see in, a, in five or ten years the first real AI technology surfacing. Basically what we do at the moment is we can emulate uh, what users do, what the business does, what workflows does, but then we will see um, technology that will self-understand the workflows and it will can and it can then run workflows without having a lot of data on that.